Hey guys, I'll be taking at you a review of Tune Up Utilities 2010. So, as you can see, once you load up the program, you agree with a nice interface and four main tabs. Now, the first one is Maintain System, and I've got it to automatically maintain the system. There's also um, a bunch of um, system and system system maintenance tools so you can optimize the shutdown, fragment the hard disk, remove broken shortcuts, defragment the registry and clean the registry and these all work perfectly well. Next one is to increase the performance. There are nine recommendations which I'm going to show you my recommendations now. Okay so it's just starting the analysis. And boom. Uh, the settings are optimized. So unused programs and functions that negatively impact performance. So I'm going to check that one. Um, indexing for searching windows. So uh, use a certain less frequently or not at all. So I'm just going to choose less frequently or not at all because that's how often I use it. Windows licensure keep that program because I uh, use it from time to time. There's no recommendations here and I'm going to do the visual effects uh, later on today or tomorrow. So let me just close out of that. Now two, there's two problems which have come to the attention of this program. So I'm just going to hit show details. And basically it's here. The uh, automatic search for Windows updates is turned off. Currently your computer does not automatically get free updates that improve visibility of your system and close security holes. So I'm just going to enable automatic updates and I need to um, check my hard disk for errors. Now when I first did this um, there was one saying um, that my, once um, if somebody was on the internet they could um, access my hard disk um, because it was all shared and so I thought, oh, okay, I'll just um, disable that one. And then another one come up, which was saying, um, your registry is shared and people can access your registry. And um, it says hackers use this to get vital information about your computer. So that was um, quite a bonus for me. Um, I managed to, you know, protect my computer against um, hackers and things, which is always nice to have. Um, to protect my files and my computer in general. Now the next tab is Windows. Um, change Windows appearance. This is um, one of the amazing features of this. Um, if it load up here. Now first one is the boot up screen. We all know the uh, default one here. This one. Um, I changed it to this one, which I downloaded from the TuneUp website. By going to um, the add button and in download boot screen to tune up online, then saving that file and load the boot screen from a file. Um, next one I changed was the startup logo. It started off as this one, you know, the one where it glows. So I'll just press the play button here, which will glow and then it will fade out. And then I downloaded this one from the tune up. Utilities website by going to add and download startup logos once again. And then the log on screen. You know, you all know the default one for Windows Vista. I'll just show it to you. There is also ones for um, XP and Windows 7, by the way. Um, So I changed it to this one. Now my icon isn't a flower, that is just what they um, use in the um, preview. I actually have a goldfish, which is quite snazzy. Just come off of that one. Um, the next one is system elements where I can um, replace some of the icons to put custom icons in. I can also add my own. Again, I can download them from the website or I can create my uh, 
own package file system again I can change the size and I can get some icons and things the appearance of icons as you can see on my desktop here um, before I did this I believe it was 48 by 48 um, so now um, this all of these programs except this one just fit on this bar at the top whereas now I've managed to add an extra one in and I've probably got space for another two or three more and I've also removed the shortcut arrow, but I need to log out and log back in for that to um, take place. Under the repair section, I can reload icons, and I can also repair the icon cache. Visual style. Now here is where you can apply themes. Um, if you want to add themes to Windows, all you have to do is click add and load from a file. And there's also a variety of themes which you can download from the TuneUp website. Um, now there's another option here to modify window settings and um, basically what this is it there are loads and loads of features I'm just gonna quickly boot um, skim through them here um, but there are so many settings in here it's unbelievable um, it is absolutely brilliant for tweaking your Windows operating system um, it really helped me a lot, all of these um, tools. Oh, and it made it, it makes it easier for a novice uh, user to um, tweak their computer like a pro. As um, I believe uh, PC Whiz Kids, um, I think it's his like motto, I'm not sure. But uh, you don't have to be a geek to tweak, and this program. Um, does it all for you and proves that you don't have to be able to tweak. So as you can see there are tons and tons of upon tons of internet um, internet and you know usage and wizards and everything in this program. In my opinion it is a hundred percent worth the uh, the money which you have to pay for it. So now I'm going to show you turbo mode and this is absolutely amazing if you're a gamer. So as you can see you can temporarily turn off all the functions and tasks that are listed here without hesitation. No security related functions will be turned off. So if we go next we can also, pr um, if this would be great if you're just playing a game obviously you don't get interrupted by anything. And it will also turn off um, sort of drivers for printers and it will turn off the printing service and things like that because you're not going to want to print files while you're in the middle of a game um, also you can change um, you know synchronization with mobile devices and limit support for digital cameras and scanners and such we can also switch to the windows classic design and ensure some performance regardless of, of power consumption and um, there are lots of things you can go through and it will make your computer a lightning fast uh, while you're playing games and things so overall I give this program a 10 out of 10 I think it's well worth um, the money um, that you have to pay for it and I'll put a link in the description so you can check this software out I believe there's a 30 day trial so if you want to try it before you um, you buy it then feel free to do that um, I'd love you to please rate comment and subscribe if you liked this video um, I've got some more videos planned for the future and I'd like to thank TuneUp Utilities, um, the company, for providing me um, this software to do this review for you guys. So thank you for watching this video so much. I really appreciate all the support I've, I've got from you guys. And thanks again.